Baseball is the national pastime. And what you are saying is that the national pastime... Is juiced? Hmm? National pastime is juiced? It's juiced. Yeah, it is. That's what and, you say. And it's reality. What is the greatness in having a record if it's tainted? Deals. And Bonds hit from high. It's a deep. It is out of here. 7.56. In 2007, Bonds hit 756 home runs, breaking Hank Aaron's record of 755. He is set. They are very deep. They play in the fall. Fraxel winds and fires. Big Mac. Swing and a shot into the corner. It might make it. There it is. 62, folks. It just got over. Mark McGuire hit 70 home runs in 1998, breaking Roger Maris' record of 61. Eric Gagne reached 84 consecutive saves between the 2002 to 2004 season. That is currently the record for the most consecutive saves and no one has even come close to it. And that is hit in the air to center. McCutcheon going back at the wall. Gone! Ryan Braun, a two-run blast and the Brewers take the lead. One more hit, left center field, and that will be gone. The 2-0. High drive, center field, deep, going back Wells, looking up. See ya! There it is, number 600, Alex Rodriguez. High drive, left field, there it goes. Has anyone ever approached you any time during your career about using? No. You were never tempted? No. Just wasn't your thing? No, I wasn't tempted. 
Let me be clear, I have never taken steroids or HGH. For the record, have you ever used steroids, human growth hormone, or any other performance enhancing substance? No. Have you ever been tempted to use any of those things? No. You never felt like, this guy's doing it, maybe I should look into this too. He's getting better numbers, playing better ball. I've never felt overmatched on the baseball field. Steroids cause heavy mood swings, which when connected to steroids are generally referred to as roid rage. Wow. Steroids also cause delusions and over falsity of abilities. This can cause players to swing at pitches that they obviously cannot hit. Steroids are banned by the MLB, and any player who is caught using steroids will face suspension and possible jail time. A-Rod, uh, who's been a top slugger for two decades, was suspended for 211 games. The others received 50 game suspensions. The Baltimore Orioles' chances of a World Series title just took a big hit today as slugger Chris Davis has been suspended for 25 games. But now Ryan Braun has been suspended for the entire second half of the season, 65 games in total. Huge, huge news because of his connection with Biogenesis. All-star shortstop Miguel Tejada has been charged with lying to Congress about steroids. According to the documents filed Tuesday in Washington Federal Court, in 2005, Tejada denied knowing that a former teammate used performance-enhancing drugs. But prosecutors charged that in 2003, during spring training with Oakland, Tejada knew of and even purchased a banned substance from that player, who was not identified in court documents. Tejada is scheduled to appear in court Wednesday, where the five-time All-Stars expected to plead guilty. The documents indicate Tejada has reached a plea agreement. If convicted on the misdemeanor charge, a 12 year veteran could face as much as a year in jail. Steroids compromise lactic acid count and they increase testosterone levels. This makes it much easier to rupture tendons. With this being said, it is still all the player's decision. Money or health. Living your dream or honesty.